All right, the project's done. Uh, I mounted the scroll saw to this quarter inch piece of MDF and then mounted my blade storage unit to that board as well. And uh, essentially that's just a block with holes in it and it holds these little test tubes. Inside the test tubes, I hold my all my scroll saw blades. And I bought uh, a little startup kit from Flying Dutchman. Uh, it was like $22 and I ended up with five different sizes and I think 12 of each of them, which is plenty enough for me. Probably it'll last me the rest of my life, quite honestly. Um, but it's definitely a good way to start uh, testing out different size blades, blades and trying out new different techniques and cuts and so on and so forth. Also on that quarter inch piece of wood, I mounted uh, two coat hooks just a dollar coat hooks and I wrapped the cord around it and put that um, uh, what's it called uh, <laughs> yeah I put that on there the velcro wire tie on there and that keeps it in a nice little bundle and when I move it from place to place it's not flying all over the place and I'm not tripping over it this saw is really not heavy but it's kind of awkward to hold. You can't lift it up from here because uh, you'll ruin the saw. So you have to kind of hold it from under here when you move it. And you really don't want to move it a whole lot, but in my particular case, I have to have room for this and my chop saw. So I have not yet decided if I'm getting rid of my chop saw yet. Um, so for now, my chop saw is mounted on a board and this is mounted on a board. I can interchange them as I need them. And that's all I got for you this week. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.